The upcoming bout between Anthony Joshua and Jermaine Franklin, Saturday, April 1st, from the O2 Arena, is being considered the new dawn. But is it really, though? Is it a new dawn, or is the light going out on Anthony Joshua? Let's talk about it. April 1st, we'll see the return of Anthony Joshua, former unified heavyweight champion, two times over. And now he's on a path of return to glory and he will face Jermaine Franklin as his first test back after dropping a split decision in a rematch with Alexander Usyk from August of 2022. With a lot of time off between now and his last fight, Joshua has a lot to put together, even enlisting the services of Derek James, a move that was unexpected, but yet could prove to be vital and fruitful but not necessarily immediate. As we look ahead to this bout, we have to acknowledge that the two fighters, Franklin and Joshua, are entering this bout. Joshua with his record of 24 and three with 22 KOs. Franklin, who's 21 and one with 14 KOs, are both looking to do their best. Joshua stands six foot six with an 82 inch reach and Franklin is 6'2 with a 77 inch reach. The two men do not necessarily have the dimensions that are effective for their styles. Joshua actually fights like a guy who's smaller, shorter. He has difficulty with shorter opponents. He fights bigger men better. It's interesting because guys typically who are short in the sport of boxing are fighting on a regular basis men who are taller, so they fare better against the taller guys rather than guys who are the equal height or guys who may be shorter. And in the case of Franklin, who's coming off of a November 22 majority de decision loss to uh, Dillian White, and most people felt like he won that fight he remains a resilient, spirited challenger in this fight against Joshua. He knows now that he has to rededicate himself and try to get himself in far better condition because conditioning may have played a role in him not being able to edge out White in their fight due to not necessarily being able to close the show very well. The fight did go the distance, and like I said, many people felt that Franklin deserved the victory. In the case of Joshua, whose split decision loss to Alexander Usyk, it proves one thing about Joshua's skill set. He can box if he has the disciplines to do so, but size in boxing doesn't necessarily matter and he remains a talented, uncertain former champion who has to find the answers. Will Derek James right the ship for him? Time will tell. He went into that bout having enlisted the services of Robert Garcia. And Robert Garcia is a very good trainer. And there were stories in the aftermath that Joshua did not necessarily have the certain disciplines that he required entering such an, a significant fight against Usyk. But who knows? They could be old wives' tales or there could be some truth to it. These two men 
are going to face each other and they're going to ask questions about one another that no one else can ask of them. So at this time, conditioning will be key, especially for Franklin, who is a willing inside fighter. He doesn't mind mixing it up. He's not afraid of contact. And when I talk about being afraid of contact, some fighters, it doesn't matter the division. They go into fights and they look at the opponents and they are apprehensive about doing things. You have to be aggressive in implementing your own game plan. And I do believe that Franklin realized that his conditioning wasn't 100% in the white fight has rededicated himself. Even Ed Hearn spoke of this when he saw him at the presser. He said, this guy looks like he is in much better shape than the last time I saw him. And the fight is still a little ways off. With Joshua going in there, there is something that you have to pay attention to. He can't be caught between styles. It is important that he trust Derek James's game plan. Joshua is 33 years old. There's not a lot that you can necessarily teach him about boxing that he'll receive and implement, but trust is the factor here. Will he be able to trust what Derek James is informing him and asking of him as far as his performance? He has to understand that he's going to be told these things for a specific reason, even if he doesn't understand it. Franklin, on the other hand, has to know that Joshua is in between. And when I say in between, I'm talking about in between confidence and unconfident. If he can execute certain tactics and strategy. He can bring doubt to Joshua in this performance and give Joshua trouble as far as being comfortable in there. And then you apply the pressure that will make him a little apprehensive and not to trust what James is telling him. We know that James is success with Frank Martin, and Jamel Charlo and Earl Spence, all being examples of him being a great tutor and mentor for his subjects when it comes down to boxing. So Joshua, again, will have to rely upon that. If he doesn't entrust in James's formula, whatever he has for him, he's going to run into problems. He's going to run into problems anyway, simply because he is very apprehensive at times. Joshua is a man that feels pressure and he doesn't respond to it very well. He's going to have to get over that because it is an Achilles. And if you have the right type of mindset as an opponent, you can apply a certain amount of pressure on under certain circumstances and he may crack. We saw that at the end of his fight with Usyk when he decided that he was going to roam around the ring, throw the title belts out the ring and pretty much give a tantrum when he had been given a decision that he was not the victor in the fight. These type of displays emotionally and a public display really categorize someone who has trouble. And he has trouble with authority. Joshua, as I said, being 33 years old, goes mental when things don't go his way. That has to happen in his personal life as well. Hopefully, Coach James recognized that and spend some time addressing that so that Joshua can turn a corner. In the event that that is not dealt with properly, you can look forward to an upset.
in this fight with Jermaine Franklin coming out victorious. A lot of it is mental. A lot of it could be physical if the mental happens to show some type of solid placement. But I don't know about this fight with Joshua. Changing trainers from fight to fight without addressing what your real issues are can always be a concern in the sport of boxing. And Derek James is a very good boxing trainer, but he's not there to put tape on circumstances. What do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's discuss who do you think is going to prevail in Saturday's fight upcoming, April 1st, 2023. Peace to everyone out there, and everyone please remain safe.